Okay, so we're going to find the um, intervals of concavity and uh, inflection points. So, oh, whoopsie. Okay, so to find the intervals of concavity, we need the second derivative. So let's do that first. Um, so the first derivative, let me make it a little thicker. Um, the first derivative is going to equal to, so it's 1 over the inside of the log, so 1 over 1 minus ln of x, times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be, so this is 1 over, times negative 1 over x. Okay, so uh, let me simplify this a little bit. So this is going to be negative 1 over x times 1 minus ln of x. Okay, and then um, the second derivative, so we need to get the derivative of this guy. Um, so um, let's do that. So if we do the uh, quotient rule, what we get is the derivative of the <coughs> of the top, which is going to be just zero, times the bottom. So minus. Uh, the top derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of the bottom, we have to do the uh, product rule. So we get the derivative of the first times the second. We're going to have a little bit of simplifying to do. Plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is minus 1 over x. Okay, so uh, this first guy, this is zero. And then here, these guys are positive one, so that's one times. And then in the inside, we have uh, one minus ln of x. This guy is just equal to negative one. And so we get 1 minus ln of x minus 1. So this one cancels with this one. And so we get uh, negative ln of x on top. Let me. Oh my gosh. You see the checkerboard. Oh, well, I don't care. So we have minus ln of x, and that's going to be over, I forgot, all this is over the denominator squared. So all over x times 1 minus ln of x, and that whole thing squared. OK, so that's good. So that's my second derivative. And so we set that equal to 0 to find my uh, my pips. So let's write them down over here. Uh, my pips. So we've got, for the, from the top, so um, ln of x equals to 0 when x is equal to 1. So that's good. And then if I solve the bottom, um, I get that another pip when x equals to 0 from this one. And then from this guy, um, when x is equal to, if you solve 1 minus ln of x equals to 0, you get x is equal to e. So you have three pips, uh, 0, 1, and e. And so let's do our number line here. Mm, da -da -da, da -da -da, okay. So, number line, 
and then let's put down our pips zero one and e and let's do some test points um, we can do negative one and then one half and then right here we can do two and then <clears throat> here we could do three <clears throat> now um, notice that um, my uh, my original function uh, there it's not defined for values of x uh, less than zero and so this guy is just not um, in the picture at all so my function isn't even defined here so I don't even have to worry about that and even if I try to plug it in I just get nonsense okay so let's try to plug in uh, one half now if I plug in one half into the second derivative um, what I get is that that guy is going to be so negative natural log of one half over and then the denominator this whole thing is being squared so this is just going to be positive positive. and so uh, natural log of uh, one half this is going to be a negative times the negative so this is going to be positive So what this means is that uh, this guy is going to be concave up on that interval. Now if I plug in uh, 2, I get negative natural log of 2 over, again, positive. Natural log of 2 is positive, so this guy is going to be negative. So negative, which means that this guy is going to be concave down. So what I have here at 1 is I have a uh, inflection point. And then let's do one more. Um, at 3, um, I'll plug it in and you get negative again, which means that it's concave down. So no inflection point there. So this guy is an inflection point. at uh, 1 comma and if I plug in 1 um, into the original which is up here um, you'll notice that ln of 1 is I mean yeah ln of 1 is 0 so then we get inside 1 minus 0 so ln of 1 minus 0 equals uh, 0 so my inflection point is at 1 0 and so then my intervals of um, concavity are it's concave up from the interval from 0 to 1 and then concave down from 1 to infinity. And that's it now actually we have to be a little bit more careful um, we didn't find the domain in the beginning hey oh there it is that's weird oh okay sorry so anyways <clears throat> Um, this guy, uh, notice that this guy right here, so this is only defined if this inside part is greater than zero. So if you look at this and you ask yourself, one is one minus ln of x greater than zero, well, that would mean that um, ln of x would have to be less than 1 and the values for which ln of x are less than 1 is uh, 
from from 0 to e because ln of e is 1. So once um, you go past e, then this function is, is actually not defined anymore. So here, this was a non-issue as well. And so that's why you should always find the domain first because you never know. So this is actually a little incorrect. Um, let's do this should be from 1 to e because that's the only spot that my function is defined to. And then, then that's it.